Hey guys, day five, officially, we made it. It's Friday, and um, I've been working for a couple hours now, and yeah, I'm just glad we made it till Friday. I did make a pretty terrible pot of coffee this morning, but that's fine. Um, my hair is very floofy today, because I showered and did not brush it, because hashtag work from home. Why brush your hair when uh, you don't need to? And day five of wearing yoga pants. It's pretty fantastic. Um, yeah, anyway, I did take some footage yesterday of cutting those uh, little chicken chick stickers. So I'm going to insert that into today's vlog. And I hope you enjoy. I used my Cricut Explore Air 2. Yep. <laughs> um, I just got it not too long ago, so I'm really enjoying it so far. And the little chicks I drew using Procreate on my iPad with my Apple Pencil, and then I'm using the Cricut Design Studio to uh, get those cut. So I'm just printing them on my, I have an HP, I'm looking over here at my printer. It's an HP OfficeJet 3830. It's nothing fancy, just a standard printer, scanner, all that good stuff. Um, but I am printing them on some sticker paper that I purchased from online labels. So um, yeah, I will take you through that process and let me know if you have any questions. I'm still rather new at this, so you know, I'm, I'm by no means anywhere near being the person to instruct anyone on this. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go refill my gross coffee and I will get that footage added for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to print these little chickies and make some stickers. So I'm using Cricut Design Space and I've got it all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to send it to my printer. always pops up behind, for some reason, the print dialog. So I'm going to do glossy paper and the best quality and we'll see what that does. Sounds like it's gonna take an eternity to print. So I probably picked the wrong settings. But that's all right, we can get this rolling while we're waiting. So I have a Cricut Explore Air 2 that I just got. And for stickers, because I want these to be die cut stickers, I have it set on light cardstock. So I got my mat back here. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to print out. Don't look at that mess down there. Um, yeah, and we'll see, we'll see how this works. Seriously, how slow can this get? Look how dusty my table is. Maybe while I'm waiting for this to print, I can get some dusting done. Look at how cute they are. So this is on glossy printer paper and my lighting in here is horrible, so I apologize. Yay, now I'm gonna cut them out with my Cricut.
all done. So let's see how these little guys turned out. Look at how cute they are. So I think I'm going to have to probably, next time I do it, I'm gonna to have to, I turn the bleed option off and I think it cut a little too close. So I think I'm gonna try cutting with the bleed option on to give it a little bit more white space around it because it did get a little bit close on the tops. But, oh. It's part of the whole reasoning behind um, making those stickers was so I could include them in orders that ship out. So I'm really excited. Um, they're fun to make, they're super cute. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to toss in with orders. So whenever someone orders from LoftyLoopsYarns.com, um, while supplies last, I will pop in a sticker or two. So that's something just fun. Just because. <laughs>